Hi, it's Alicia from the Pretty Brown Eye Reader. Today I'm coming with a video to discuss books that I am removing from my TBR. Those of us who, have, who read for an extended amount of time, we have, we begin to accumulate a lot of books on our TBRs. And from time to time, I do like to go through my TBR and make sure that there are still books that are relevant to my interests at the time. <clears throat> So recently I went through my TBR and I found some books that were still on it based off of some old interests that I used to have or just, just aren't relevant to where I am as a reader right now. Um, the first category of books that I went through to remove from my TBR are books that are left over from a job I used to have. Um, for eight years I worked in a healthcare facility in a performance improvement department. So in that department we did a lot of team building and looking at data and working with different departments to see how they can improve their performance. And so I had books left on my TBR from that. Once I was um, no longer doing that type of work, I really have no interest in it. So some of the books that I had um, from that that I removed from my TBR are Working Together by Michael Eisner. Um, he's the Disney CEO and he wrote a book about working together. Um, Live Your Dreams by Les Brown. Les Brown is a well-known uh, motivational speaker and I always would read his work when I was getting ready to go work with the department on improving their customer service to get them motivated, pumped up to do whatever it is they need to do to improve their satisfaction scores. Another one is Switch How to Change Things When Change is Hard. Anybody that works in performance improvement knows that it's hard to get people to change their ways even when data shows that they're not doing optim operating at the prime of what they could be doing with their resources. Uh, I don't know if I said who the author that was. It's Chip Heath and Dan Heath. Um, another one is Speak Up With Confidence by Carol Kent and it is a a uh, book that is, gets people to be able to express themselves in any type of um, arena. So those are some of the books that were left over from my performance improvement days. And I really don't have an interest in reading those type of things anymore. Not to say they're not great books or that these authors could add some type of insight. It's just not something that I'm not, not in, any longer interested in. The next uh, set of books that I want to remove from my TBR are nonfiction books and um, they vary in what they discuss. Um, the first one is My Stroke of Insight by Jill Taylor. I believe she's a neurosurgeon that had a stroke and she had like revelations during her process of healing from a stroke. Sounds interesting but I don't think I'm going to pick it up. Another one is A History of the World in Six Glasses by Tom Standage. Sounds interesting. Hmm. Just not picking it up. <laughs> the Secret, another history one, The Secret History of the World by Mark Booth. Think Like a Freak from the authors of Freakonomics, How to Retrain Your Brain by Stephen Le Levitt and Stephen Dubner. I've read um, Freakonomics and Super Freakonomics and so uh, I put this one on my TBR when it came out, but I just never picked it up because kind of to me Super Freakonomics like repeated what Freakonomics was about. So, and that probably could have went under my, um, because I think I read Freakonomics when, for something for my performance improvement days. But anyway, um, those just don't interest me. And then I, lastly, I have some fiction books that I'm removing from a TBR. Uncle Tom's Cabin by Harriet Beecher Stowe. Just not, it's just with the plethora of slavery type related books just not interested um, this was one that sounded interesting but I, don't, I just never picked it up on the come up by Hannah Weir supposedly about a young girl in the urban setting that was trying to get out don't know um, these next books I've seen on everybody seems like everybody's TBR or reviews or videos and I'm just I think they've been overhyped for me. Um, My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante. Uh, the F Fisherman by Chagosi Ab Abamia. 
Yellow Crocus by Layla Abraham. I just I've seen people talking about them and I'm just like, nah, I just I'll just skip that. And lastly, I had Good Omens by Neil Gaiman. I tried to read a Neil Gaiman book earlier in the year and I just not his writing just did not work for me and I don't think I want to pursue reading anything else by him. So if you read any of these books, could you persuade me that I need to keep them on my TBR? Have you read any of that you did like or you did not like? Just let me know if any of these books you've come across. Ha are you removing stuff from your TBR? How do you do it? Let's have a discussion in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day.